good afternoon students i am jaydeep singh uh, well today i have prepared an online lecture on arkin narayan's novel the english teacher uh, especially uh, from the demand of uh, uh, ba 6 uh, semester students uh, basically I, i would focus upon the ending of the novel because uh, Uh, most of the chapters have already discussed in the class rk narayan is a prominent name in the name of uh, indian english literature and uh, here i have prepared some of the slides uh, that basically focus upon uh, rk narayan and his life when he was born what kind of writing style he had like this we have he had written 34 novels and uh, the prescribed novel in the syllabus the english teacher which was published in 1945 and uh, uh, here here is how he was uh, uh, awarded with the uh, sahitya academy award in 1958 for his magnum opus the guide and padma bhushan in 1964 and then royal society of literature in 1980 uh besides that uh you can check these slides and know some of the important aspects and uh, here are some of the characters which is krishna his wife sushila their daughter leela headmaster dr and swami ji and then we have next slide which uh, shows some of the autobiographical elements in the novel the english teacher so you can check these uh, slides and know about them because we have already discussed these things uh basically uh in order to understand this novel i have uh, divided it into three phases actually these three phases are the phases of krishna's life in the very first phase of his life when he is working as a college lecturer he is living in a hostel and his life is like a single man then the second phase where we find krishna he starts living his life with his wife and daughter with his family and here we can see an episode of happiness and joy then the third phase that starts with with the death of his wife he starts living alone with his daughter and he is full of sorrow and how he recovers from it so in in my lecture we will focus upon the third phase of life of his life so in the next slide we can also find some of the uh, points uh, like how the novel shifts from academic world to the law of life the novel opens with krishna's reading for the 50th time milton carlyle and shakespeare then discovers that ordinary people encounters the big issues of life and death not in perspective of philosophy and literature but in everyday experience so how this life has its own experiences we cannot measure or conceive it into a philosophical or literary way so this novel also many folds before us the real issues of life the real issues of uh, of uh, of our relations one makes while living uh, with his wife various kinds of relations that uh, one has a when has a different kind of calls one lives with his life they have a happy moments they have a sad moments then how uh, they have a, a some of uh, a tearful memories living with his daughter leela and the, then how they hunt here they uh, means uh, krishna and his wife they hunt for the new home and eventually 
so Sheila is contaminated in a, in a house where she is accidentally locked in a washroom. So it f it uncovers these kinds of uh, these kind of aspects. So in the third phase, we find Krishna in extreme pain and suffering. Now he is living with the new circumstances that are extremely painful, that are hard to adjust and he had to meet with the social and professional expectations. The social expectations for example uh, how the society and especially Krishna's mother they um, make to persuade Krishna for a new marriage and how he takes a stance that he would live with his daughter and even he denies to uh, leave his daughter to uh, to his parents then professional expectations now the same uh, college teacher Krishna who was very uh, prof um, passionate for teaching he has no mind in teaching he just want to reach his home as early as possible because every time he is worried about his daughter so he doesn't want to leave him alone and when this suffering and pain with new responsibilities when it reaches at the peak we find a, a kind of resolvement in Krishna's life when he meets a stranger who, who is believed to be a kind of mystic or, or a kind of hermit and how through him he finds communication with his wife's spirit and we have uh, different phases of communication uh, friends these kind of uh, phases of communication like how he communicates with his with his wife uh, wife's dead spirit it must not be in my opinion it, in my opinion it must not be taken into into some kind of metaphysical or a, or a supernatural way but uh, uh, i think it must be considered in the light of indian spirituality as this novel also uh, shows a kind of progress from west to east not only in realms of uh, cultural attitudes but uh, as you can see in this slide the second point the street uh, sorry the third point communication with the spirit of his departed wife so up there is a progression from western intellectual frame of mind to the native Indian spiritual practice so his experience of communication with his wife should be conceived in the light of Indian spirituality. His deep inner psychic bonds with his wife and various memories, the part of his wife's psyche which is living with him, within him, it is that part which gives him various answers to his queries, which shows him the way how to live, how to coexist, how to adjust with these new circumstances. And then we find a short phase uh, when that hermit goes away and uh, in between Krishna was unable to communicate with his wife. But again, when that person approaches back, he makes him learn this technique and now Krishna is apt enough to make that communication and through that communication we find Krishna as a, a man of satisfaction he finds an inner peace and uh, <clears throat> with Leela admitted in a school he finds an another man who was a very uh, you can say man of peace uh, who was very who has a very realistic li uh, life experiences he makes krishna to to uh, to uh, <coughs> to start 
or operate his school and eventually when Krishna finds that inner peace because earlier he was reluctant to leave that college job and start for a school job but eventually when he finds an inner peace he leaves college job and starts working with the school children and here in my opinion children can be again be uh, visualized as a symbol of beginning of the life circle of the life's energy and through that energy krishna finds his purpose of life he finds his uh, uh, real aim of life he finds solace and satisfaction with his own being with the his own new job and his own new satisfaction and in this way this novel ends and here in the last slide you can see some of the critical comments uh by by harish rai zada it it says it depicts man as bearing the sweet and bitter fruits of life really this novel is not only an idealistic representation of life but it also shows the other sides of life the dark sides of life and how one should approach in those darker realms then another comment is k r srinivasa ayanga the description of krishna's married life the first few years of happiness the excruciating agony during the weeks of sushila's illness the last journey to the cremation ground is one of the most moving and flawless pieces of writing in modern indian english fiction not a word is wasted not word rings false however the second part of the novel takes us to unfamiliar regions then professor p s sundaran writes in a beautiful manner the english teacher is a novel with a difference not only in the type of love between krishna and sushila that is depicted but also in author's bold excursion into the realms of death so you can quote some of these critical comments and you can also prepare <coughs> some of the important questions and answers thank you